Right, before the video begins, I should let you guys know, I've been trying to make this video, but after three wasted attempts, I came to the realization that I am simply not equipped with the blessing of having a webcam in my video. So, this one's gonna be without webcam. With that being said, enjoy the video. I'm looking for an AI that can change my life. I'm looking for an AI that can horror me. I'm looking for an AI that can scare me. I'm looking for a girl I can laugh with, you know? <laughs> I mean, look, with Elon Musk and uh, every other people getting mad that AI is evolving way too fast, they're gonna take over us anyway, right? At once, sooner or later, some of them have to come to the realization that maybe they are a little weird, maybe they are a little creepy. We don't really need them, do we? Like, they're kind of retarded anyway. What if we just uh, get rid of them? You know? Right. While that story generates, uh, let's go and take a look at some AI-generated horror images. Nobody has the time to go to the Skull Island or the Doll Island and take a whole bunch of pictures of dolls and potentially die. That's scary. Nobody has to go to the forest, nobody has to take their mom's bed sheets. nobody has to be under that. They just have to take a picture. They just have, they just have to write a few lines and uh, boom, you got yourself a horror story, baby. Got yourself a little baby. You don't even need to get the little kid. <laughs> right, another thing that I noticed is AI really sucks at drawing hands, like fingers and such. So, if you're ever wondering if like a picture or a painting or something is made by AI or a human, just look at the hand. I don't know how people ended up profiting off of AI generated images by just selling pictures in OnlyFans. How did they, how did the people not notice the hands? Did they have to like photoshop it? Okay, that's not scary, that's just an emo guy. Yeah, the feet as well, like look at the feet over there. That, that's not scary, that's just poorly generated feet. Not into that. <laughs> that's supposed to be Grim Reaper, that just looks like an emo dude. Taking a picture for his album, right before he kills himself. Anyway, that's not even scary, that's just, that I could have done that with photoshop, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, is that supposed to be scary? A huge Thanksgiving dinner covered in evil spirit and cobweb by Norman Rockwell. Norman, I don't think you know what scary is, because that looks cute. The spider looks like, oh, can I have please some... Oh my god, if anything, that's it's the girl that's scary. Holy shit, put her in jail. Kill her. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> that's supposed to be Baba Yaga? Holy shit, Baba Yaga looks strangely... uh. Extremely modern, not gonna lie. Had too much money in her uh, expertly built empire, so she decided to put some plastic in her body. That's not Baba Yaga. It's, that's Baba Kardashian. <laughs> anyway, I guess the story is uh, uh, generated. So let's go. Uh, editor me, please put like a horror theme. <clears throat> in a small isolated town nestled deep in the woods, there was an old abandoned house that had long been rumored to be haunted. It is said that anyone who entered the house would never return the same. One dark and stormy night, a group of curious teenagers decided to test the legend. They gathered at the entrance of the house, armed with flashlights and nerves of steel. The wind howled through the trees, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance in the darkness. As they curiously entered the creaking house, the air grew heavy with unsettling presence, the floorboards groaned beneath their weight, and the sound echoed through the empty halls. Every step felt like an eternity, their hearts pounding in unison. Suddenly, a chilling whisper filled the air, causing the teens to freeze in their tracks. It seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere at once. Get out, the voice hissed its tone dripping with malevolence. Fear gripped their souls, but curiosity pushed them further into the abyss. They pressed on, each room revealing more signs of the house's haunted past. Broken furnitures, shattered mirrors, and faded photographs that told a tale of tragedy and despair. As they reached the upper floor, a door slammed shut behind them, sealing their fate. Panic engulfed them as they desperately tried to escape, but the windows were boarded up, trapping them inside. 
the house seemed to come alive, its walls closing in, and the temperature dropped to an icy chill. In the dim light of the flickering flashlights, they saw a shadowy figure dancing across the room, their eyes glowing with otherworldly hue. Whispers grew louder, sinister. Laughter filled the air, and objects levitated with an unseen force. The spirits of the house were awakened, unleashing their wrath upon the intruders. Terror consumed the teenagers as they realized they were trapped in a nightmare they couldn't wake up from. One by one they succumbed to the vengeful spirits, their screams swallowed by the house's dark secrets. The next morning the sun rose, revealing an empty, dilapidated house once again. The legend of the haunted house lived on, a cautionary tale for those who dared to test the boundaries between the living and the dead. Remember, sometimes it's better to heed the warnings and let the mysteries of the unknown remain undisturbed. Get the fuck out of here, that's not scary at all. I came here to get the spooks. The only spooks I got was because of the theme I put myself in and the electricity and the lights kind of flickered on the other room and I noticed it and that's the only thing that gave me the shivers. So it's not even from the story itself. God damn bro. Can you tell me a scary knock knock joke? Let's go uh, look at some more pictures and criticize them. Holy shit! This deserves a lot of criticism. What the fuck is that? If this is the state of AI, then Elon Musk has nothing to worry about. Why is he being like, oh yeah, he's gonna take over, he's gonna kill us and shit like that. This, this? Okay, what are the prompts that need, that were written, that were needed to make this atrocity? I have to see. Twin Peaks movie, still mid-shot, scary woman, huge open mouth, big eyes, I'm in a smile, blue hour, night forest. <sighs> There's a lot of words that you had to write that you definitely didn't need to write to get a decent sized picture. Just get your sister to do that. My god, that looks horrendous. They are, AI isn't that good at drawing teeth, are they? Oh shit. God damn, it's like a crackhead looking at you in the gas station asking you for five bucks. Anyway, knock knock, who's there? Boo. Boo hoo, don't cry, it's only a joke until it's too late. <laughs> like I said, Elon doesn't really have to worry about AI taking over. It's the, what the fuck is this? Yes, story time, please. Knock knock, who's there? Jesse, Jesse who? Jesse stood at the front door, her heart pounding as she hesitantly opened it. To her surprise, there was nobody there. She shrugged it off as a prank and opened and closed the door. But an eerie feeling started. Okay, okay, you know what? Uh, it's gonna take some time to generate, so. Let's go look at some more Dali images, I guess. Okay, portrait of a haunted Victorian doll being suspicious. Why is she suspicious? <laughs> a monster eating half of the entire planet. Realistic art. Mm-hmm. Very realistic. Holy shit. Oh my god. I can practically be... I can practically feel those teeth hitting my house. <laughs> this is my house, isn't it? That's just Fallout New Vegas. Uh, this is... Okay, man with head... Man with head of eagle. Oh, that's the head of an eagle. It's not a man. That's an eagle man. With a gun, probably, holding in his hand. Enhanced chainsaw. That doesn't look like a chainsaw at all. Okay, so I'm finding, and definitely, and there's the hand. There's the hand. See that shit? Yeah, that is, that's not gonna fly, my guy. Anyway, an epic photorealistic, okay, whatever. It's, it doesn't spook me at all. It doesn't do anything to me. It's, why are you getting, no, okay, that's a little scary, but at the same time, no. This is cute. Anyway, the ocean walker. Dark, scary oil painting. So, that's scary. See, that's the ocean, from what I assume, the ocean walker is a dangerous creature that lurks in the depths of the sea. It is said that the creature can drag sailors uh, to their watery graves, and there are many tales of ships that have vanished into the depths, never to be seen again. If you are brave enough to venture into the open waters, be sure to watch, the, watch for the signs of the ocean walker. What are the signs of the ocean walker? Just a bunch of crumpled up tissue paper, a little uh, TV. <laughs> some beer bottles <laughs> but yeah that's kind of spooky because you know this guy's big right that's definitely the ocean or the sea apparently uh, judging by 
uh, the writings of the AI. But yeah, this is spooky. This is scary. This is skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Anyway, let's read the story now. It seems pretty big. It's probably gonna have to be the last one though, because I am hungry. Knock knock. Who's there? Jessie. Jessie who? Jessie stood at the door, her heart pounding as she hesitantly opened it. To her surprise, there was nobody there. She shrugged it off as a prank and closed the door, but an eerie feeling settled in the pit of her stomach. Later that night, Jessie stayed in bed. She heard a soft knock coming from her bedroom door. Her breath caught in her throat as she called out, Who's there? Silence followed, and she convinced herself it was another imagination playing tricks on her. But then the knocking returned, louder this time, accompanied by the whisper that sent chills down her spine. Let me in, Jesse. I know you're alone. Terrified, Jesse clutched her blanket, realizing there was no one else in the house. The knocking persisted, growing more insistent with each passing moment. Fear consumed her as she muttered the courage to ask again, Who's there? The reply came in low, menacing tone. It's your worst nightmare, Jesse. Open the door. Sweat dripped down her forehead as she frantically searched for a way to escape. She grabbed her phone and dialed the police, but the line was dead. Panic surged through her veins, realizing she was trapped with the unknown entity at the door. Suddenly, the knocking ceased, replaced by a bone-chilling silence. Jessie's heart raced, unsure of what would happen next, just when she thought it was over. A whisper echoed in her ear, cold and sinister. I am inside now, Jessie. She turned around slowly, her eyes widened in terror. Standing before her was a ghostly figure, its eyes filled with malice. She let out a scream that pierced the silence of the night, but it was too late. The presence consumed her, dragging her into the darkness from which there was no escape. The next morning, Jessie's neighbors discovered her front door wide open, the house empty and filled with eerie stillness. The legend of Jessie's disappearance haunted the town. A reminder that sometimes, when you invite the darkness in, it becomes more than just a presence at your door. Remember, be cautious who you let into your life, for some visitors may bring nightmares that never fade away. Okay, uh, there is a. Th this is actually kind of scary, especially this part where the thing goes, I'm inside now, Jesse. This is spooky. This is scary. This is skeletons. But what doesn't feel right is, why was it knocking them? It was just scaring her. It knew already how to get inside. It had the key. It's definitely, holy shit, this is actually kind of scary, not gonna lie. But yeah, that doesn't make any sense. She should have been fine. Jesse was done dirty. Yeah, the, I stick by my decision. Jesse was done dirty. That's the end of the story. That was actually pretty scary, and I'm not sure if that can get any scarier, so I'm actually gonna call it an end here now. Yeah, so yeah, call, calling it a day. Yeah, do all the things that you're supposed to do when a YouTuber ends a video. So, bye bye bye. Yeah, bye bye bye.